Hello, I am here for a very depressing February wrap up. Do you know why it's depressing? Because I read two books. Actually, not even books, two graphic novels. Disgraceful. And I'm not even going to excuse myself for the fact that February only has 28 days. <laughs> no, I was, it was awful. I was awful this month. I need to pick up my game on reading. I'm like seven books behind on my challenge for the year. It's very stressful. But then again, reading should be stressful. So I'm just trying to not be stressed while also being stressed and that's just stressing me out more. So I read two books. It's fine. They're both good. I enjoyed them. It's all fine. So the first book I read this month was Spider-Man uh, Deadpool Marvel thingy called Isn't It Romantic? And I really enjoyed this. I thought it was really cool to see Spider-Man and Deadpool, who are kind of two of my favourite Marvel characters, I'd say. Spider-Man simply because he's like the OG, you know, the, the original one that everyone knows. And also I, I just quite like Peter Parker. I like the fact that he's just a teenager, just kind of trying to fit in, really. Um, but not in this uh, volume, though. He's kind of an adult in this one. Anyway, in a second. And then also Deadpool, just because he's funny and that's pretty much it. I just think he's quite cool and yeah. So in this one, Spider-Man and Deadpool, um, Spider-Man has left the Avengers. Deadpool is always kind of on his own and Deadpool in this one doesn't know that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. So he's trying to team up with Spider-Man to kill Peter Parker, who's had a tip-off that Peter Parker is involved in some shady stuff because he's the CEO of this company. But then Spider-Man is like, this is so awkward because it's me. Um, and then it's basically kind of like all the drama that comes after that and the chaos. It reminded me a little bit of like, you know, Shakespeare when they have mistaken identity and all the kind of farce and drama in youth. It was kind of like that, but just um, set in superhero world. And it was really cool. I really like the art. It's very kind of classic. Uh, superhero kind of stiff and I don't even know if you can see this can you yeah and it's just very bright very colorful very action-packed everything you expect from a spider-man deadpool comic really I just really enjoyed it and it was a good way to kill a couple of hours when I was on the plane to Germany oh yeah more about that I went to Germany for the first time this month um, I went to the Berlin Film Festival because I went on a uni trip and that was really fun and I might do a video about the films I watched there so maybe look out for that, that would be cool. And the second and last book I read in February, I'm so ashamed of myself, this is actually awful but anyway, I'm trying to like be zen about it but I'm really not zen about it, um, was Paper Girls and I loved this, this is so good. This filled, well it didn't fill the void but it kind of compensated a little for the absence of Stranger Things in my life because this is set in the 80s kind of around about the same time as Stranger Things and it follows four young girls on the paper round and something mysterious happens to them on their paper route as they say in America um, and it was very Stranger Things vibes they have bikes so <laughs> I really really enjoyed this I thought it was really well written I think sometimes it's hard when writers try and emulate like the youth voice because um, sometimes it can be done really well and sometimes it can be done really badly and really cringe worthily um, but here it was done really well it was very punchy very funny um, totally believable that the, these were you know young kids and the art is incredible especially I love the coloring like all these kind of like lilac bluey tones and it was just incredibly beautiful and really inspiring I mean we just want to colour in things because each page seemed to have its own little colour scheme and I thought it was beautiful and it ends really really coolly on a cliffhanger irritatingly because I want the next volume um, but it was so so good and it kind of plays with the idea of kind of time and technology and I'm really excited for where it's going to go and it's incredible so I really recommend that you pick this up. Also it wouldn't be a me video if I didn't talk about Saga, it's by the writer that writes Saga so that's probably why it's good. Um, so yeah, also read Saga. I've, I've been saying this for years now but Saga and, and this please read really really good so yeah. So that's the end of my wrap up. This video is probably like two minutes long, but what are you gonna do? Um, yeah, also I have a cold. I've probably already noticed that because I sound gross, but yeah. So hopefully my cold goes away and then I can read more in March and I have a less shameful video to bring to you at the end of March. Um, so let me know what you've been reading and cool. Make me feel less bad than I do about what I read in February, please.
thank you <laughs> and i'll see you soon in another video bye